What's up guys, I just finished the career mode on expert level with my created fighter Xbox Milk. Um, what I'm gonna do now, career mode. And um, In the last video I said I'm gonna do career mode on the highest difficulty, which is um, ultimate, I think. And uh, I'm not gonna do exactly what I said. I'm going to a new roster career, because people wanted to see a roster career. And uh, without a career, yes. And um, really, I want to give the people what they want, and this way I will give both. I will give uh, an exciting new career mode. Plus, I will do it with a roster fighter, which I don't think is on YouTube yet. So uh, here you see a nice trailer, which we're not gonna watch because sound is not enabled. If you want to see these videos, I can upload them separately. So, um, here we go. I said I'm going to do it on heavyweight. Actually, I wanted to pick Alistair over Reem, but because he's my uh, favorite fighter. But since he's not available, um, I'm going to check if there's anyone else on the heavyweight roster that I like enough to play an entire career with. And yes, you I'm just trying if you can go back here after you select a weight class. So, uh, Junior Dos Santos, Velasquez, Carwin, Frank Mir is one of my favorite fighters, but Stefan Struve, no, not really. Reach, AV3 and holy shit. Um, I might actually make a fucking beast out of Stefan Struve. Uh, my second favorite fighter is. Uh, sorry. My second favorite fighter in this division is Rashad Evans. Because, uh, I don't know, I think it's just amazing what he does. Uh, I don't want to play this either. Third fighter, or my favorite, my number two, maybe number one even. Alistair Overeem is number one, or either Chael Sonnen. He's amazing. <laughs> I don't know how you cannot like him. Unless if you're Brazilian, I can see why, but really, as so anything else, you don't have a reason to hate him. Welterweight, I could play as George St. Pierre, but meh. <laughs> you know, I am just gonna play as Stefan Stroop. I'm gonna make a fucking killing machine out of him. He has uh, 83 inch reach. He's from my country. He is young. Uh, yes, I want to start a new career. He is young. He will not end up being like 90 in the end. And uh, let's see, what's his base? His base is kickboxing. His fight's orthodox, but I like orthodox and switch, so you can switch stances. He's a righty. And yes, I want the current settings. This release, I don't, I don't hope this is the exact same thing, but just with a normal fighter. <coughs> because that would... Um, will actually give me um, more points, but I don't want to do that, even though I should. But I just want to bring you guys quick gameplay. And um, I might make these videos longer than 20 minutes, I'm going to make them 30 minutes, because uh, 20 minutes is a bit too short, and 30 minutes, for me, at least, I know if you're watching 20 minutes is long enough, but 30 minutes is easier for me to do. And uh, the loading screen sure didn't get any shorter, so I don't know what I'm gonna do here. <laughs> Look at this reach, it's just insane. Just bombing him here, holy shit. That was easy. I like this guy already. So, um... <laughs> here we go, guys. Recommended, beginner, fuck you, UFC. I'm going with Ultimate. Ultimate difficulty setting is intended for the only... only <laughs> for only the elite level players, and we will provide the hardest challenge. Only after a successful career has been completed will this difficulty become unlocked. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm really scared. 
Um, we're going to do default NMG because simulation is just another step up, which I don't feel I'm ready for. World Fighting Alliance, even though I'm already in the UFC, I seem to be like downgraded. I'm, I'm reborn somehow. And schedule a fight. And this career should way be way better because I actually know what the hell to do now. Um, I will always have this. <coughs> sorry, I will always have this reach uh, advantage, so that would be good. My opponent, uh, my opponents are all lower, and there's no really, f no, not really a fight that matters yet. So I'm gonna pick the lowest one, since it will make no difference except for the credits. There's an upcoming event, Silva versus Sun. Wow. Simulate. Should have done always simulate. Talking about favorite fighter, wow. Going to the news ranking quickly. Who won the Silva vs. Sun fight? An impressive performance. Drops title to Sonnen, and that's exactly what's gonna happen in Silva vs. Sonnen 2. And I'm gonna look like an entire idiot, like a total in idiot, I mean, if uh, people watch this video later on. And uh, Silva won. But we're going to camp sessions. And since we do not have to pick a camp yet, I am going to scout through the moves real quick. Uh, first, I'm gonna go to American Kick Kickboxing Academy. We're gonna learn. Santos is right. Oh my god, that's nice. It's a really nice one. Holy shit. Forces left front kick. You know, um, jumping your right head kick. <laughs> this really has some nice, uh, some nice moves. Knee. Suplex, you know, and uh, Black House, learn, right karate straight. This is all like weird stuff, and they, these are the real nice moves. You can actually leg sweep. What's this? Ooh, wow, that's nice. So we're gonna do the. You know what? I I'm not gonna waste your time doing this. I already saw a move I like. Uh, we're s eight minutes in, so I'm gonna learn this real quickly. I'm going to the. Uh, this height can go up. That's cool. I'm gonna learn those Santos is right. That seems really good for someone of my inch, uh, reach. I mean. I keep wanting to say inch reach advantage, but. I'll probably always have that, even against Brock Lesnar. I think Brock Lesnar has an 81 inch reach. Oh, I only should do this move. Now I see. Why is he not moving now? Why was he not moving like last last time? Why is he moving now? I don't get that. Was that a glitch or something? Come on. <laughs> there we go. Finish. Was that it? I like that. So uh, let's try to get the punch level 2. Because that punch would really help me, actually. You know what? Never mind. Let's just go. <laughs> Don't get much of a choice. First professional fight. Judging from the six girls in a bunny outfit, that was probably a Mayhem Miller outf entrance. Correct me in the comments if I was wrong. This gaming, th this game is coming out on February fourteenth, which is in five days. 
might be less because I'm not sure if I'm gonna upload this on Thursday, February 9th, which is the date I'm recording this. It is uh, 4.50 p.m. now, GMT plus 6 time in Holland, and uh, I'm age 20, 83 inch reach, so we're gonna make this guy a beast. Look at look at how tall he is. He's just he just scares the shit out of me. Oh shit! And remember, guys, this is the hardest difficulty. And what I should do is use this. Uh, oh shit! Use this uh, inch reach advantage. That's what I should do. And he got me in a rubber guard. Which is a really scary guard to be in if he actually did something. But which he is not. Oh shit, now he is. Because uh, that can make you bleed really fast. And if he reverses it, uh, not anymore. In the last game, he would end up in the mount. And uh, let's see how hard this really is. And uh, that was not hard yet, because uh, probably because it's the first fight. THQ probably wants you to think that, hey, this isn't hard, and then boom, they're gonna do something fucking hard on you. That's what she said. What's that? What? Ah, oh, Dr. Stoppage. <laughs> he doesn't even have a cut. <laughs> That's horrible. Please stop it. No? Okay. That sucks. He didn't even have a cut. Fuck you, I'm not gonna touch your gloves. You don't even deserve wearing those gloves, jackass. And I forgot to block there, that's bad. And... And there is a Dos Santos right. And uh, guys, as you can tell, this is really much harder because I'm... If you look at part... Uh, what The ending of the last Let's Play. I was way better. I was in the UFC pay-per-view and that went easier than this. Even the Ryan Bader fight was... Well, not easier because he, that guy knocked me out in, I think, three minutes. Yeah, what are you doing? Stefan Struve. And uh, this let's play will all be about making this guy a fucking beast. <laughs> I love doing that. I would love to see the coach's advice. Your opponent can take much more damage through the hat. Work more from the clinch. I don't know if I have any. Apparently, I have really good clinch game. I do not. I have. Watched a lot of Stevens Roof's matches, but I would say he's more of a ground submission guy. He has a good chin, by the way. Fought against those Santos. That didn't went well, but he had another fight against Dennis something. His nickname was the Manus, and uh, he really. His face was really fucked up in that match. And maybe I have a knee? No, I don't. That flying knee I meant, by the way. Oh my god, my controller shook. That was really big. And I know you're knocked out, but I'm gonna fucking finish you. Fuck you. Punch in the back of the head. And, um. Ultimate difficulty. First win. Um, can't believe I'm playing through this entire career again. The last time I did this. Oh my God! Part 16, 17, no, 15, 16, 17 of the last Let's Play. Those will always be in my mind. The raging parts, the parts where I got dislikes, the parts where people started laughing at me in the comments. 
even removed one. That's how bad it was. <laughs> Sorry for removing comments. I usually am against that, but that was a really mean comment, and it had thumbs up. It was really mean. <laughs> and uh, I'm trying to make Stefan Struve a really high overall here, like at least 90. So we can have a... I don't know why actually, but it would be cool if it counts online. Because that would be uh, cool. 83 inch reach, Brock Lesnar ground and pound, Alistair Overeem stand up, Frank Mir submissions. I'm gonna schedule a new fight around 15 minutes. As I said, these uh, things are gonna be a little bit longer than the other ones. It's gonna be a. Uh, Sorry, I'm w watching the opponents real quickly. These uh, f these things are gonna be um, 30 minutes long. I'm gonna watch this real quick. His strongest points are stand up and his ground striking. And his best defense is against stand up. So I'm gonna take this guy. It's a challenge. And um, two titans. Um, we're gonna go to camp. Gonna learn that Junior Dos Santos straight right real quick, and then uh, learn level up. That's what we're gonna do. Dos Santos right straight. Manually train that. And uh, let's hope that we can get something good out of this. Junior Dos Santos straight right, but the bad thing about this is that it uh, removes the other, the old move that I had, and I think it wasn't spinning back fist, maybe? Oh no, those not, they, those always require a right stick with it. Oh, I actually need to do more now. You move a bit back because I already have the inch reach advantage, and I don't know how many inches, but I have quite a few inches. I think on the last quest, and I'm gonna wait for some s stamina here. One, two, three solid punches. One, two, and none of those hit, but he got rocked anyway because that's how fucking beast Struve is. Came to the last quest is getting beaten by a 60 overall here. And this is really fucking annoying now. Even the sparring is harder. And all I'm doing really is spamming the punch. Hoping for four stars. One, two, oh thank god I got four stars. There we go. And uh, let's just keep that on level two because uh, I don't want to waste any time in this gameplay with not leveling something up or um with automatically doing something, this guy is gonna be fucking beast. And uh, here, I actually do get one training session each fight. So um, let's fight. Run 19 minutes, 18 minutes, 40 seconds. Oh my god! Just played the career through, through like uh, I just finished the last play one ending half an hour ago. 20 minutes probably, no half an hour, and now I'm playing this career already. So, uh, let me check real quick on YouTube how the other videos are uploading. Uh, number 20 just got uploaded, number 21 is uploading, and then 22 is in the waiting list, then 23 is in the waiting list. And after that I'm gonna upload the ending. And I think I'm gonna upload this in the late night of February 9th in my time, of course. In American time that will be around 5 p.m. And I think I should get him here with my uh, stand-up to the chin. 
Like the coaches actually say say stuff in this game during the match, but I don't know if it's just random stuff or actually stuff that you wanna need to use because you hear two coaches also. Look at this kick, this is just fucking vicious if you hit someone with this. And here are the tips again that I mentioned in the ending of Let's Play 1. And I can tell you right now that it's really getting harder already. Try these takedowns, which are not working. Everybody knows if you watch my last play, last let's play, you know that I love to go in the takedown, then side control and just kill him from there. And right now I'm so slow because I'm just a beginner. And I hope if my stats got worse than they already are. I mean, uh, wor like worse than the stats are right now of the original Stevens Truth. I don't hope they get saved. And I hope I can still access the original moveset. And by the way, I just knocked him out. <laughs> Whoop de doo. 21 minutes. That's why I need uh, longer than 20 minute versions because we're already in 22 minutes and I can do another fight now. 2 on 0. I'm gonna do something real quick for the settings. Accept. 2 on 0. And it's going to be hard achieving the Hall of Fame achievement on uh, Ultimate Difficulty, but we're going to try to do it, guys. Um, still going to go for the easier fights, unless there's a fill-in, a higher rank. Fighting opponents who are ranked higher offer more credits. Well, if they only give credits, I do not want to risk a loss. I'm just going to do these. Actually, I should have taken that so I could uh, increase my caps earlier, so that was stupid. Gonna do that from now on. Gonna take two trainings real quick. Um, Sito Jong. Sito Tong. Whoever can pronounce that is a hero. Um, we need to get some submission moves on, which is Black House, obviously, because they have the Nogara Brothers. It says learn. Uh, do I have any moves from this already? Level up? Yeah, I do. Because uh, Stephen Struve already has uh, a lot of moves. Direct catch arm triangle choke. Nice, 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 nice. So I don't need to learn those. Um, I think I'm gonna level my attributes up. Because I don't really need the other things, I think. Um, What offers me the most? I think. Wow. Tire flip drill gives a lot. I think that's the best. Offers me uh, no rat stats at all. Doesn't decrease anything. Increases takedown, ground top grappling, takedown defense, and ground top top grappling defense. So I'm gonna do that. Tire flip drill. For those who did not watch the last last play, and this is the first time you see UFC on Sputed 3, this is a drill where you just flip the tire in the green area, and the green area has a certain amount of points in it. And you, get in the, it's best to just go for the most points, like I'm doing right now, so you get leveled up quicker. And here we go, 128 points. Now we're going for the 140, 
20. I'm gonna go for that one. And I accidentally went for this one, but that's okay. Correct myself there. If you don't do that in time, it will. You have to flip the tire anyway, which sucks. As you know, ah, uh, oh damn it, that sucked. Four-star performance anyway. Should have uh, some nice level ups. There we go. 65 strength. And um, the rematch. I fought this guy already, I guess, the first match. And uh, my fight. I'm wondering if I can customize stuff, it's true. That'd be cool. Put a tattoo on him. I'm a dick. youtube.com slash xbox milk Stefan Sky wow skyscraper true the first time I'm stuttering in this video my English is not perfect yet so expect some stuttering in the future videos also I'm quite new to uh, commentary Last week I had uh, two videos experience. This week I have like uh, 20 plus videos because I did the entire UFC gameplay. This trait is so good, I think. <laughs> I don't really know. Oh wow, he got my back in no time. And I don't think he has like any takedowns at this level. And I should have anything to take. I'm just gonna do this then. As you see, I know a lot of moves already. I am proud of them. My moves. Oop! And I got flying my tinies, which is great. Don't have to learn those goddamn my tinies because the training for that is an absolute bitch. Would be cool if I get a lag kick TKO on ultimate difficulty. I'm so fucking tall. <laughs> that lag kick has to hurt so much if Stefan does that on you in real life. Oh, his lag is actually damaged. Look on the right. It's actually. Oh shit! And people have taught me in the past that AI actually has a brain nowadays, so uh, if I do repetitive shit. It will notice like this. And that's not good, by the way. And I haven't done that yet, a running strike, so he was like, What the fuck is that? I've never seen that before. Gonna get some quick strikes in here. And I believe I won that round on strikes. I damage just legs really bad. Really bad is a bit overkill, but I damage his legs. I damaged his face the same way he did to me. To stay patient, I don't see any bad areas. That's the Koji's advice. Mostly if he says I don't see any bad areas, you're ahead. That's what I've I know from my experience. Twenty nine minutes already, so uh gotta finish this quickly. My goal is to keep all the videos around 30-32 minutes. And this sucks. 
the expert level, if you fail a takedown, he wouldn't strike you, but now he obviously does. Inside leg kick would be cool to get. It really sucks that Stefan has no takedown from here. Oh, maybe he does. Let me check. I would be really surprised if he does. I think he does because he just reversed something. Sorry for being a boring cage hugger, but. These fights are not as easy as they I make them look. I know I make fights looking look easy because I'm the best. And this video is 31 minutes already, so I gotta finish within one minute. If the game is working a bit with my with me, uh, well with my. My English is not getting better in these parts for some reason. And I know from the past that if you immediately try to trans do a transition after a fucking strike. This will might be my first loss. And there you go, my first loss. Well, that sucks, guys. It is ultimate mode, so uh, this is possible. I I'm not gonna win everything, so uh, I'm gonna end the video quickly now, because it's over 32 minutes, and will take me a shit long time to upload, because that's like 8 gigabytes. Um, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like the video, comment if you want to see anything specific. And uh, guys, I'm out. Peace.